Here's a quick guide to configure taxes in Invoice Ninja. Navigate to Settings and Tax Settings. And from this screen, you'll see there are three drop down options. The first is Invoice Tax Rates. And if you wish to have taxes based on the entire invoice total, you'd select this option here. And inside here, you have the option to choose one, two, or three particular tax rates. So if you work in a zone where there are compounding taxes or multiple taxes involved, you'd select the number of taxes you need here. You may need to use line item taxes if some of your line items don't accrue taxes. And using line item taxes allows you to selectively place taxes on individual lines of your invoice. And you can select up to three line taxes here. Expense tax rates also def defines how many tax rates to include on the expense form when you're creating your expenses. The next setting determines whether your taxes should be inclusive or exclusive. And what does that mean? Inclusive taxes means that the pricing that you're showing to your client includes the tax. Exclusive taxes means that the tax amount is added on top of your product taxes. Inclusive taxes determines whether the price includes the tax or excludes the tax itself. So for example here, the inclusive taxes is off and that means taxes are added on top of the invoice amount. So here, a $100 invoice with a 10% tax would equate to 100 plus the 10. When this is toggled on, it means that the taxes are included inside the total. So if the total is 100 plus 10 of tax, it actually means that there is two separate components that make up this 100. This amount for the product and this amount for the tax. If you wish for Invoice Ninja to calculate the taxes for you, you can toggle on the Calculate Taxes section here. And from within here, you can select your subregion and also the regions you wish taxes to apply to. So if you select Tax All, the system will automatically calculate any sales tax that are applicable for your region to your client's region. And then click Save. If you wish to manage your taxes manually, you can also do that as well. You can simply create a tax rate, define the rate, and then click Save. Back on the tax settings, you'd then choose which of these you wish to apply, either a line or an invoice, or perhaps both, and then click Save. Then when you create an invoice for the first time, and start entering your line details, You'll see the tax rate option appears here. You can select as needed and then click Save. You'll then see your invoice update with the tax rates as defined.